Hello, Virga. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. So you guys are doing well. Oops, there we go. There we go. How time is flying. This is your general love reading for, uh, I'm going to say May, for July. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, or vice versa as well. Guys, um, if this isn't your story, what is going on? Let the cast forward in May. Okay. If this isn't your situation, if I don't pick up on your si well, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay. And of course, if this isn't your situation, if I don't pick up on your situation, there we go. You know, do stick around and sometimes they could be just messages for Al that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality okay so i'm going to take this in i won't clarify on on um on screen guys i will be clarifying off just because it takes too long so give me a moment just going to take this in clarify the cards i will be Hello, Virgo. Let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side, just pop that on. Take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side. Person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay. And of course, uh, if this isn't your situation, if I don't pick up on your situation, you can feel free to check out your other readings for the month, which should be pinned in the corner. All right. So this is, this is, this is, I'm going to start with you simply because, um, you know, that, at a certain point, there was a loss that he was going going through Virgo with the uh, Five of Cups, which talks about you focusing on some form of loss. And I feel like it's to do with maybe, and this is for some of you, maybe not being heard, maybe not being seen. Um, something within this connection with this person that you feel you took a hit on and it's caused you to, or it caused, because this is kind of coming from where you're, you guys are coming from, Cause you to be a bit guarded as much as you're still willing or was still willing to continue with this. We've got the page and we've got the uh, nine of pentacles there. There is still this moon card, which talks about lack of clarity um, around this. I feel like whatever happened that created this, this, this idea of loss for you is, um, it's kind of just brought about this lack of clarity, still willing to move forward, but lack of clarity, but moving forward guarded though with that king of swords uh, because something has come crashing down maybe an idea of how you saw this person or maybe an idea of how this relationship could be or something around something that's meaningful to you not to say it's not meaningful to them but it kind of is shown showing up more prominent in in your spread virgo um again still willing to move forward but not willing to face it it's like this I don't want to face it. It is that kind of thing. Yes, I acknowledge it's there. Yes, I acknowledge that I'm, you know, it's caused me to be guarded, but I don't want to deal with it. It's like I don't want to face the truth on on something regarding something. Where with your person, their focus was on, you know, bringing this back into alignment, um, bringing harmony back into this situation, peace, even uh, a level of determination, a level of being cognizant conscious of how they move but still being a bit trapped because there is this choice that they made around deciding to fix this whatever went wrong whatever's happened um you know and, and have a, having a certain level of drive and focus and passion to fix this to mend this in some way which brings us to where we are at the moment you're showing up as the king of night sorry the knight of the king of knights the Knight of Wands. This is very, very much a passionate excitement. Um, you know, it's not stable. It's not a stable energy. And I feel like it's due to, it's due to you not, because we do have the Knight, the Nine of Swords here. As much as you're expressing that, it's like I'm showing up in that way, but inside I'm thinking I'm really stressed. I'm really uh, worried and stressed about, again, going back to this thing that's been lost or that you feel has been lost and that's simply because you're still willing to try and maintain the relationship that you have but you are keeping 
what you're really thinking in. You're not sharing it with this person. You're not being communi communicative with this person. You're not communicating with this person. So your person is kind of seeing you as, you know, maybe acting a bit reckless, uh, you know, and they're just like, you know, I don't have time to for that or I don't really want to acknowledge that or, you know, I'm just not interested in what it is that you, you know, you're doing or, on, you know, that you, it's that type of thing. Uh, because their focus really is, is on that, that, that star, which is fixing this, healing this, uh, mending this, getting this back on track, because ultimately they do feel emotionally fulfilled by this. We've got the 10 of cups there and we've got the 10 of cups there. So there's work that they're wanting to put into this, but there is a bit of stress around this for them with the nine of swords there, going back to that eight as well. You know, as much as this person might mask their thoughts or feelings regarding this, and you might be thinking, you know, they're not really taking this seriously or they're not really picking up or paying attention to, you know, maybe me and my needs, even though you've not communicated with this person about what's really going on for you. Um, they are kind of, there is a bit of stress around this for them. Wanting to get back into a place where you either get closer yeah, I feel like this at one point you definitely was emotionally connected before this happened, before whatever happened there. The two. Little, do, little, do, I mean, I'm, I'm bringing it back to you because the focus is really on you. What's going on in this spread is more about you and you not really expressing or hiding um, or not acknowledging or being honest or truthful about what it is that you're really going through, you know, even though, how do I put that? Mm. Because we do have the Knight of the King of Swords, which talks about being guarded, and we have that Knight of Cups, which talks about hesitation. The situation has now caused you to just kind of be a bit hesitant. Even though you don't want to acknowledge certain things, it's like this lack of acknowledgement at the same time acknowledging if that makes sense, but not expressing it, not communicating with this person. So therefore you're acting out in a certain way that usually you wouldn't. And this, and that's where this person is like, you know, what are you doing? Or I'm not wanting to deal with that. Or it's just this expression, this excitement, this passion, this, I want to say recklessness, but recklessness, unstableness, there we go. That's going on for you. When deep down, there's, there's been a change. There's been a change. There's been a change. I don't see any communicate community. If I can speak, I don't see any communicate. I don't see any communication cards here. So you're not expressing it. So I'm thinking, how would you respectfully, Virgo, how would you, you know, expect this person to, you know, be a mind reader and pick up exactly what it is that's going on for you internally. Now, yes, of course you could have maybe challenges and, and when I say challenges don't take that in the wrong way but they could just be maybe blockages or um, I want to get a nicer a more softer word uh, blockages or okay I'm going to use the word challenges it could be just challenges around you being honest about how you feel for some reason um, could be maybe this person's response to you it could be your perception of what they could say to you or of how they could respond to you. Um, but yeah, there's definitely no communication here. Definitely going through shifts within this relationship that you're, that you're kind of acknowledging, but you're moving forward anyway. And this person is focused on just kind of fixing this. Now we're going to move into part two of the reading, see where this moves to. Um, and then what, of course, action you guys take. So if you guys are interested, link is in the description bar below. Um, so click on that. But as it stands, as it stands, you know, the, the, you know, the thing, the thing is, you know, the communicate, they, they will say communication is key. And that is true. Very much true. Because yes, we can have a perception on how you think this person is going to respond based on maybe past experiences or just how their character is. But the truth of the matter is, is you've got to stand in your truth. You've got to be able to express I mean, what, what are the alternatives you do in this? And your needs are not getting met. Not only your needs are not getting met, you're now choosing to 
um, express the lack of needs being met in ways that are just not beneficial for this relationship. So let's move into part two of the reading. Like I said, link in, is in the description bar below, guys, so click on that. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next week.